it is. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I want to talk about two things. The immigrants coming in, as I said before, that really bothered me when Ron DeSantis put out that bugle call for all vets. The attention. So they have to work with African black peoples in the military, even though the Klan is in there, we know that. The poor whites, they join with that sundown, what is that? Sundown, be, be out before sundown mentality. And they sleeping in the next bunk to our children who did who wanted to get off of mama's couch. We in a mess, and don't nobody want to believe it. You can look at the feed on your um, YT channel. But anyway, the immigrants are coming over. They allow them to come over, and they're taking care of them in New York, not their own citizens. The strung out, the mentally ill, the drug addicts, the prostitutes, American citizens, they're not doing it for them. They are allowing immigrants to come in, giving them cell phones, setting them up in hotels, three meals a day. What is that about? What is the end game? And nobody can stop them. They can only talk about it like I'm doing now. But that affects us. That's a war right there. What are they doing? They're getting ready to do something. And, and people, we at the bottom. It's gonna, it's gonna affect us. So those are, they getting reparations. Immigrants are coming in and they sending them out to cities, and they doing crime. They don't know who these people are. They haven't been vetted, and they giving them court dates and all that shit for twenty thirty. What is they? What are they doing? And it doesn't look good for us African black people. Again, we on the bottom of everybody's shoe. We never tried to get out from under. We didn't make a fuss about them coming in into our neighborhoods. The Arabs, the Asians, and the Indians, they took over the neighborhood, the gas stations, everything. We own barber shops and beauty shops. That's it. And yeah, a hit there and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some other businesses. Yeah. The black banks, though, are not black banks. I don't know why they call them that. Because they still have to follow the FDIC, right? Because I get confused when I was hearing Caucasians on the phone and walking around in the bank. That confused me. But then I thought about it. They can't discriminate. So I'm like, this is not a black bank. And they still have to follow the same protocols as the white bank. So why they call it black bank? I, I, I. But yeah, I'm glad I was on that subject because this goes to money. Let me go to the next song. I don't want to take up too, ma too much time on one because I want you to hear all of them. Oh, this is a good one. It's called Rewind. Yeah, music. Hey. Money. Don't leave your money in the bank, the few of us who have it right now, because we don't know what's going to happen. Us elders, you know, who are on SS or 401k or any bank, they said these banks are shutting down like dominoes. Okay. So don't keep that much in there. Keep only eating up. And now they're saying this back gold and silver. 
And that's confusing to me. I'm so ignorant. So if you have gold and you take it somewhere, how do they give you change back in gold or in money, which have no value? But in, I don't know how that shit work because I'm not in that category, you know, where those people rich are and all this shit, 401k, these white folk talking about all this shit we don't know about. But you know, <laughs> that what was that Margaret Sanger, consider, excuse me, I did that. Consider us roaches and roaches. We They survive, don't they? But we ain't surviving with 46 in the back and jumping on the hood of the car and, you know, uh, I jumped on the hood of the car. You remember that? The Klan, very soldier, jumped on the hood of the car and you, they showed a picture, all the bullet holes in the... Hey! Hey, listen to that shit. I'm on end. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I'll come back. This is jam session still. I have a few more to share. This is the R, rewind. And I'm going to end with that and come back. And the next song will be right now. Okay? Give me a break. But peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll come back. Leave a comment. Talk to me. If there's something you want me to talk on, if you know, want to know anything about me, I tried to go live, but they won't. Uh, allow me to set it up. I don't know how to do it. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't have any young people around me to teach me all this shit. <laughs> you know, but my, my people jamming on here. But we got us. I don't know how we're going to stop telling everything because it, it's that's a V-I-R-U-S itself. Us telling everything on here. But they tired of it now. They have everything they need to know. They don't even know how we cook. They know everything from A to Z, one to a zillion. Because we have put it all on social media. The Panthers didn't have all this. They ain't tell nobody shit. They had to uh, come and bug them. And they bugging us now with our phone, mobile. You don't know if it's on or not. Your, your, your computer, we don't know. This high tech. Hey, if you see a little fly, a bumblebee flying around your house, you don't know what the fuck that is. It could be a drone. They come really small. But they don't have to do that or, or seek us out because we put everything on here. Even our great Dr. UJ. B1, those channels. Let me see. There's some powerful channels on here. One they took down. Runaway Slave. You know, he was giving too much. They they could tolerate you in the middle of uh, doing a little bit. They got a limit. But if you are too tough, you got to go. You know? We have Baba Rasan on here with uh, Black Excellence. Cooking with rods. But George Galloway, that's one of their own. But he's in another country. And he could tell all the truth. I'm going to leave their names below. So you could check them out. Gerald Salente, he tells it all. Okay? I mean, they are on fire. They one of, He's a cusser, Gerald. And they telling the truth. And they, I was like, how are they allowing them to tell all that's happening for real in real life over there in this war and what's going on here, everywhere? They telling the truth. They telling the truth. Hold on. There's another one. Jeffrey Sachs. He was on one show one time. He was talking so much and telling so much about the truth, what's going on. They stopped him. They said, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. 
they had to cut him off. And they arrested one man because uh, he uh, aligned Epstein with uh, Billy. And they, they carried him out. And it, George Soros was the guest of honor. And this man, uh, I'll leave that down there below. I'll find it. So they don't want you to tell the truth. And if someone is speaking the truth about it's wrong for these children to be physically, I mean, medically castrated by those who said they would do no harm, that the audience boo you when you are speaking against horrible things that are happening. When you are speaking against that you don't want WAR. Or when you're speaking against that is wrong what's happening to these children. The audience, boo! Where are these people coming from? It's over, people. It is. This is a fucked up planet. And children are being born here. It doesn't look good at all. It's horrible. My heart is heavy. Just thinking about all the animals in these labs. And then they say it's all right to have sex with animals. You know? Is bestiality normal and the killing of butterflies is illegal? That's the way it is. Right is wrong and wrong is right. And I'm going to end with this. Those who have voted for DeSantis or love him, you black folks, Africans, not POC or melanated people, that's not you. Africans that love DeSantis, he don't love you because he has said that the one who took out the one that looked like your nephew and, you know, had the same mental problems as your cousin, he said it was okay. And he sent out a bugle call to all the vets to get on one accord, which they are always on one accord. You know, that it was okay to do what they did to your cousin who was only asking for food. So he cussed. So fucking what? He didn't hit nobody. He didn't have no weapon. And those two were holding his hand down so he couldn't even time out. He hung him. That was a lynching until he defecated. Well, have 15 minutes. He meant to do what he did. He was getting a thrill. He probably, you know what I'm saying, in his pants. And then they stood over him and looked. Those other two need to come in. You got to get them. Because they were holding his hands down. And I'm going to end with this. Can you imagine how our people feel with their hands behind their back? I had my hands tied behind my back. And you standing in front of clan who are able to do anything to you. Why can't they put it in the front? That's at least somewhat fair fight. Because they're going to fuck you up with your hands behind your back. You are, you are, you are a piece of meat. They can do anything to you. Your hands are tied behind your back. In front of clan. You can't time out. They can kick you in the face. You can't move. We have been so far. It's horrible. The things that, that I have in my mind that they have shown me that I can make a video with Pamela Turner where that cop stood over her and just bang, bang, bang. And nobody even talked about it. We didn't even talk about it. But I never forget that. That's number one on my mind with Tamir Rice. That baby with the toy gun. 
So many. You can't keep up because we never do nothing. We never stop it or nip it in the bud. It's just going to keep on continuing. You thought after George Floyd, I'm like, shit, that's over. After George Floyd, they're going to stop. They're not going to bother us no more because that the world know. Africa should have said, y'all don't get no more resources after fuck what y'all did. But no, everybody went on with business as usual. It was a, just another distraction. That's it. Because it's getting worse. It has gotten worse. They on the rampage. They ready to go now. 199 mass killers. That's old. It's probably two, two old, 210 now. Because they ready. They itching. And they tired of us. So I say every black channel, all these channels need to switch gear like Ford Motor Company did. I forget. I was saying that. During wartime, they stopped making cars here in Detroit in the in the forties and fifties when when they had World War II, and they switched gears, and they started making tanks. Later for the cars, we need tanks. Okay, so we in a war. It's time for every goddamn channel on here, black channel, to change gears, change the mold. It's put out a call to everybody that you talk to. Stop talking about everything. You're going to find out. They're going to let you know. Because like I said, they riding high on their horses. F-150, 250, and 350. Tiki torches and dogs. They coming. All these channels. MX. Michi got an audience, but she off here because she's sick of us. She was tired of fighting us. More than the oppressor, suppressor, depressor. More than systemic racism and white supremacy. She was fighting us. Negroes. She tired. We talking about everything. It's, and like uh, uh, Dr. UJ said, we uh, masturbating on history. It's time to talk about shit right now. Get ready for war. Real war. Because this trial, because you know they love trials, is trial after trial after trial after trial after trial. trial. Destruction, destruction, destruction. This one, I thought that the one uh, George Floyd would tell the story. But this one, because the governor of Florida up high, and he didn't, he doubled down. He said, all vets. So that's the U.S. military. No, he all vets, yeah, that's the U.S. military. And they all around the world. They have 800, I think, bases around the world, sitting in islands and everywhere, all in Africa, everywhere. So he put out a call to all of them that it's okay what Daniel Penny did to a mentally ill, unarmed, African, black man. That was serious to me. I wanted to just have a big happy a jam call. Hey, 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 hey. I'm like, shit. That's serious. That, that, that touched there because it let me know that they done with us. I keep saying that. Don't you feel it? Can't you tell? And the athletes and the celebrities and all these multi-billionaires, they sick of y'all too, showing off your goddamn money. That's what's fucking making them mad. Seeing you on TV grinning and skinning. You know, they sick of that. They sick of their children imitating you. They sick of their girlfriend with the pumped up lips and the big ass because that's not them. I appreciate them being themselves. It doesn't look right for them trying to look African. Just like it don't look like us trying to look European. In any kind of way. But their men, their grandmother, they don't like it. They may not say nothing about it. But it's going to be our fault. 
They not going to blame their own, but it's our fault because we're so heavy. Everybody wants to be black, but they don't want to be black. You know, now they're trying to braid their hair. Now they, they don't want the nigga nose. I'm sorry, the, the, the nigga nose. But they want the full lips. They try to get the, the big, but they're doing everything. They, they're on the table, disappearing, taking the A train, trying to get a big behind. They're trying to twerk, which was a sacred dance in Africa. And we, we abused it, showed everybody how to do it. Nothing is sacred anymore. And even Africa's sacred mountains and, and, and streams and shit, they still got them named after Queen this and, and Elizabeth that. Elizabeth Bill, all kind of uh, Thomas Bill for African artifacts and, and streams and mountains and, and museums, whatever you, whatever you got over there that's sacred. Streets? Do you have streets? No. But there's so many Caucasians over there. They still have Caucasian communities over there where you can't go in, but they can go out. And all these military bases, those soldiers can go out and, and, and drop their seed all over the place. And I think that's what they want them to do because they're trying to uh, blend out the blacks in Africa. But you can't go on the base, but they can come out, right? Peace if you can find it. I'm going to end with this. I don't know how many subjects I was on, but peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. What kind of planet we are? <laughs> and we have some heavy duty lecturers and teachers and professors and historians that's given us all this history about who we are and everything that's going on. They quiet because what else can be said? We don't want to do nothing. We don't want to protest with our money withheld it because that's the only thing that's money. Walking in the street and, 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 and all this ruckus up and down the street and let all these foreigners and you, you, you don't know who's in there. You got to watch your own people first. The Negroes, the, the black faced traitors. But then you letting in all these other. You don't know who they are and who they working for. So it's a circus. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Don't protest no more in the street. It's a waste of time. It does nothing. It did nothing. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Peace.